In this video, we will talk about donning of sterile gloves. I know it seems like a very simple procedure. However, this can be a little tricky or challenging for new students or internationally educated nurses. So this is a really good one to practice on. So first of all, before we start talking about this, you need to understand something that these gloves, they come in different sizes. So follow your agency policy and determine the size of your glove. Either it can be small, medium, large, or extra large or you can go by the number. For example, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven. So you need to determine what size fits you exactly because that's very, very important for your gloves. Now, let's just start this procedure. You always want to put your sterile gloves on a clean, dry, flat surface. Now, you can open the inner package and there are little bitty flaps on there. So we want to make sure that you take the inner edges of this wrapper and we want to turn them outwards. And now we are going to expose the gloves. Now with the left hand and again, I just want to say, follow whatever you're comfortable with. If you have right or left, whichever is your dominant hand, you have to go by your preference. But I'm going to go and start with my left hand. So with the left hand, grasp the fold inner surface of the glove and that will be applied to your right hand. Now you're going to lift the glove up and insert your right hand and make sure that your palm is facing up. Always think about it. You're looking upwards facing the sky. Now pull the inner cuff of the right glove over your right hand so now that I've done this, this right hand is glove and ready to go. Now once your right hand is completed, we are going to insert the gloved right hand to the folds of the left glove of your equipment. Now we are going to lift the left glove and insert that left hand. And again, remember facing up the sky. Now pull that glove down onto the left hand and then you should be ready to go. Now, sometimes you may need to pull down or adjust the fittings, wiggle your fingers so that your sterile gloves are proper fit to you. So now your sterile gloves are on. You make sure that you are not touching anything which is not sterile. So you can only touch the sterile objects. Now, both of your hands are sterile, so it's okay for your left hand to touch your right or vice versa. Another principle very important to keep in mind is you always make sure that you want to keep your hands above the waistline to maintain the principle of aseptic techniques, right? So if you like this video, stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our channel. Hello, nurses and nursing students. I hope you guys enjoyed learning the simple skill of donning of sterile gloves. What next? You guys know the drill. Now let's just practice some NCLEX style questions related to this skill. Here is the first question on your screen. Which of the following is an appropriate technique for donning sterile gloves for a dressing change? Here are your four options. And same drill, I want you to take a pause and think for yourself which one is the correct answer. All right, now let's just review option number A. Pull the glove on with a finger pointing down. Is this something which you guys learned in the video? No, that's incorrect because the correct technique to avoid contaminating the sterile glove while donning them on is to make sure that your fingers are pointing upwards, not downwards. Good job. Now let's just review option number B. Use the sterile packaging to grasp the second glove before donning. Is this correct? No, that is not a correct option because using the sterile packaging to grasp the second glove before donning is an inappropriate technique. We don't do that. Let's just review option number three. Touch only the inner surface of the glove while donning. Hmm, what do you think? Okay, so what do you think? Is this correct? No guys, that is also an incorrect because to correctly don on the sterile gloves, part of the technique involves touching the outside surface of the gloved hand with the hand already in the sterile glove. So that is incorrect. 
Now you guys must be saying, yes, we know the option is D, but let's just still review the option and the statement. D says, grasp the sterile gloves by the folded cuff edge with the opposite hand. And you're gonna say, yes, that's what we learned in the video. So that is correct. Because this is the appropriate technique for donning the sterile gloves. Grasping glove by the folded cuff edge with the opposite hand, not gloved yet. This helps to avoid contamination of the sterile glove by only touching the inner surface by the folded cuff edge. So D is the correct option. All right, ready for the next question? Let's just review the next question. So here is the next question on your screen. The nurse is working in the operating room and is preparing on to don on sterile gloves for the next surgical procedure. Which step should the nurse perform first to ensure proper aseptic technique? Here are your four options. Again, take a pause and see for yourself which one is the correct option. And then I will discuss with you guys. All right, option number one, inspect the sterile gloves for any visible defects. You're gonna say, oh my God, that's the correct option. That is the correct option. However, see in the question, is that something the nurse would want to do first? No, although it's an important practice, it is not the first action the nurse should perform in this situation. Let's just review statement number two, which is option B. Don a surgical mask and eye protection. What do you guys think? That is incorrect. I know this is again an important practice, but it is not the first thing the nurse should perform in this situation. Let's just review option number C. Performing hand hygiene with an alcohol-based sanitizer. What do you guys think about this? Option C is correct. Performing hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand sanitizer is the first step in ensuring that aseptic technique when donning on the sterile glove. This reduces the risk for infection. And always remember, patient safety is the utmost important thing in your NCLEX exam. Let's just review the last option, which is option D. Open the outer glove package towards the body. Hmm, think about it, review. Remember that video which, we'll, which you have seen. D is incorrect. The correct way to open the outer glove package is away from the body, not towards the body. So I hope you enjoyed learning this question. Now let's just move on to the one more question. I hope you guys are staying tuned with me and enjoying this, okay? I am enjoying it, I hope you are too. All right, here's the next question on your screen. When donning sterile gloves, the nurse accidentally drops one of the sterile gloves onto the sterile field. What is the nurse's next appropriate action? Here are your four options. Take a pause and think. All right, option number one, discard both gloves and don the clean gloves instead. What do you guys think? That's incorrect because this is not an appropriate action as the nurse requires sterile gloves for this procedure, not the clean gloves. Option number two, remove the gloves from the sterile field and continue the donning process. Well, this is also incorrect because this is not an appropriate action the nurse would do. Option number C, ask another nurse to come and assist. What do you guys think about it? That's incorrect. This is not necessary to have a second nurse present for the donning of the sterile gloves. Last option, discard the dropped glove and use a new sterile gloves. And that is correct. If a sterile glove is dropped onto the sterile field, it is considered contaminated and should be discarded and the nurse should use another pair of gloves. All right, guys, let's just review the last question from this topic. Here is the question on your screen. What type of gloves and solution should the nurse use to cleanse the insertion site for a PIC line, which stands for peripherally inserted central catheter during a dressing change? Here are your four options. Pause the screen and see for yourself what the answer is. All right, so let's just review. Option number A, clean gloves and chlorohexidine. What do you guys think? This is incorrect. The nurse would never use clean gloves for pick dressing and pick lines are often threaded into the superior vena cava and they're closer to the heart. So pick line is a potential source of infection. So because they are threaded into the major vessel, it's very, very important that you do the infection control and use the sterile gloves. And again, if you don't know how to do the pick dressing, watch our video for that. Let's just review option number B, sterile gloves with chlorohexidine. That is the correct option, guys. 
Sterile gloves and chlorohexidines are used for infection control during the dressing change to reduce the potential for infections. Option number C, clean gloves with sterile normal saline. You guys by now already know it, that the standardized practice is to use the sterile gloves with chlorohexidine, not the normal saline for cleaning. Lastly, option number D says sterile gloves and sterile normal saline. I know it sounds tempting, but you guys know it's not the best practice. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning clinical skill as well as NCLEX style question practice. That's what we do at FPNPC. We are always here to support the students and make sure you contact us if you have more queries. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you very much.